Right guys, welcome to Tuesday the 25th of August. It's horrid. <laughs> it's chuffing horrid. It's chucking it down, the wind's picking up, and it's generally just a miserable day out there. You can see puddles are just full already. It's just bouncing out of them. Uh, it wasn't particularly nice driving on the road this morning either. It was a bit wet. So uh, yeah, I'm hiding away at the moment, but I am glad I did those drains the other day. All those gullies and ditches and whatever else I did. Uh, definitely need them now. And there's even a possibility, I think, that we're going to flood down in Ingsfield, but most likely through the ditch. I don't think it'll be a proper flood, but it's going to get wet down there. So yeah, enjoy. So yeah, I'm hiding away in here. Um, this morning's job is this flail mower. Now I did mention previously I had a bit of a boo-boo with a set of chains that made, hopefully you can see it, see that? That should be flat. Yeah, so I hit a, hit a well it's actually a band of brothers. Uh, if you don't know what Band of Brothers is or are, um, it's usually what the cranes use and it's kind of got a big D ring at the top of it and then there's some chains coming off they come in twos, threes, fours, whatever you like basically um, but they're like ten ton chains that I've got and they were on the big bale trailer, big arctic trailer and I left them on the floor instead of putting them onto the trailer I left them next to it and hit him with the flail. So funnily enough, big bang, and I had to stop and pull him out. Nothing wrong with the chains. <laughs> the flail on the other hand, I had a bit of a boo-boo. So focusing, so yeah, it's a bit, I don't know how else shows up. Yeah, I've taken an edge off them. Some of them better than others. Basically the majority of it was around this area here focus so yeah there's quite a few of them that have taken a beating it's not too bad the one up there taking a chunk out now I've been through and ground these already and that's about as good as I can get um, thank you to Mr HS Ag because he was doing a video on hedge flail sharpening a couple of years back so I followed his instructions where you just take it off that side, leave the top. Except I've cheated on a couple of them, if I can find one now. Uh, basically it, they'd rounded off so much over that I had to um, take that flat, try and get some kind of edge back on them. So yeah, just been through. i so say this end's usually the worst end because it's away from the tractor. Um, that end's usually pretty good because it's next to the tractor and near your wheels and you've always got an overlap anyway I've just seen that as well um, I would like to have taken all these off weighed them and did them but we're getting to the end of the season now so there's no point doing a full strip down on it uh, I have been and done that ridge and furrow field you've seen me in before and every time you go over that you're basically blunting off the flails anyway you're just hitting soil the uh, the angles of the dangles are just too much for anything to cope with so yeah just been through that sharpen all those up I'll grease it I've got to go and do the show jump field I've got to flail that off um, with this weather at the moment I don't think it's going to come now I think we're going to say possibly even flood in the firings field um, so I think hay, second cut hay is gone so the Trojan Perino we mowed that and because my hay bob wasn't set up properly because I was in such a rush before the rain came excuse me uh, in such a rush before the rain came I left a load on the field uh, it hasn't rotted down as well as I'd hoped so it's probably junk anyway so we'll go mow that off see how we get on and uh, yeah we shouldn't be too far off what I'm kind of planning with this is I'll strip all these flails off this winter 
Um, I need to go find, I'll go buy a weighing, weighing scales for the electronic ones. And what I'll do is I'll take these off and we'll actually weigh them and I'll grind them right back. There's still quite a lot of life in them, but when you've got, I don't know, almost five mil out of some of them. Uh, I do actually have some spares, but I think I've only got about four or five for the deck back here. Um, four or five of these ones anyway. And so that should be that should be what the edge is like. Um, but I'm, I've always said from the start, I think these flails could have been heavier and probably a, a better steel. Uh, don't give quite so much. Granted, if they give, when you're stupid enough to hit a chain, <laughs> you don't damage anything apart from flails, which is good. Um, but yeah, there's there's more more damage there than I've got replacements. So we'll have all these off. We'll weigh them. I'll get an edge back in all. We'll back them in, and we'll uh, be ready for next year. Um, other projects will be here again. So I've got a bit of a power steering issue yet again. From the quite a big one. Because most of that oil down there is from the power steering. So I need to lift the cab up, get the power steering pipes off again. Uh, go and take them to Laddown Road and get like a swivel end on them. Uh, I'll explain that when I get into that. So another job coming up. Yay. <laughs> Uh, and then, oh, other job. <laughs> I had a phone call off somebody I know the other day. This is it. We have a look at my chainsaw. Go on then, bring it around. He says, oh, I think it just needs to tighten up on the chain. It's a bit loose. Yep, I'd say so. Because that is as slack as out. So I've just got to go. Uh, tighten that up, I'll re-sharpen it, basically quick service on it and then you can have it back. And there's even broken chain brake. Chain brake didn't actually work. So uh yeah this is why you're professionals. And I'm not looking at me. <laughs> so uh yeah. Um before I do go as well, uh I had a real lazy Sunday. I was cream crackered. It's been a busy week last week. So I frigged out on the sofa and started watching YouTube, funny enough, and came across another channel. Uh, it is Adrian Morrison and Son. Now they're a contractor. I've actually seen them kicking around because they cover not well, basically Yorkshire. I have seen them kicking around doing verges uh, because they did have a red bull, John Deere. That might sound strange. But it was a Red Bull decal tractor. If you go have a look on his web on his Facebook page, on his Facebook page on his YouTube page, he has got a Facebook page as well. Uh, you actually see that tractor; it's pretty cool. So I have actually seen him kicking around. Uh, go check him out. It's the son that's doing the videoing. It's Chris uh, running some nice fence, uh, McConnell hedge cutters. Most of the other gear, they do some hay, or they've been doing hay and hay age. Uh Most of the other stuff seems to be fent. They seem to have a, a bit of a tickle for that. So yeah, go check him out. He's uh, only got 170 odd subs. And I think it's going to turn into a really good channel. So if you head across to Adrian Morrison and Son, I'll put a link at the bottom if I remember. Um, tell him I'll send you across because it's always nice to know especially on people behind the camera where they come from um, and yeah go check him out right guys I'm going to leave it there and I shall catch you later cheers bye